right now is God versus Madball. Unfortunately, I'm going to be casting alone, I think, unless there's some unknown presence around here which has a voice but I don't think there is it's just gonna be me so uh, it's a DM6 and let's get into this I'll just let them know that we're ready to go and then we can get into the game so God versus Marble the countdown has begun and this is going to be an interesting one Three, two, here we go one, as we get fight. on one guard for the beginning of this game picks up the LG the Mega as well oh a nice little bounce from that rocket there as Marble tries to deter guard from Pushing his position too quickly, Garn being quite aggressive with LG, I always like to see it. As he waits here now for the possible rail, he can hear his opponent just at that rail curve. And hits the jump pad, hits the little jump on the lip there, and manages to just avoid those rails. But there, Mabel coming in with one, and Garn able to just get out of the way in time. He's got this nice position, he drops down, oh good attack from Garn as he pulls out the LG to do more damage, but he hits himself instead, and this could be bad, but no command was not going to be there to try and rail him in time. As uh, God takes not just the red, but the mega as well now. As he creeps, he creeps. Here's the hum of that rail. Just waiting for him, and Mabel does drop indeed. And there come the rockets from God. And look, that's almost he too easy. Oh, God. Absolutely knew exactly what to do there in that situation. And just a great little flick, uh, switch to that rail off the spawn there onto Mabel. As Mabel gets taken down again. So in the first minute of this one. Guard is in a commanding position, has very nice control, spots Marble again, half damage connected. Guard, oh wow, actually taking a bit of damage from that rocket, but it doesn't matter because Guard has good timing on the Mega, he's got good positioning, and he has a good grasp of this map, a good, a uh, a good hold on his opponent so far, Marble really is lacking for options. Marble doesn't even have a railgun yet, and Guard is just hovering around this bridge position. Maybe he'll catch Marble as Marble does try to go for that railgun. And there, Guard not able to look in the right way in the right time, but he does manage to get the rail nonetheless, and that puts Marble in a horrible situation. Only 72 points of health, 13 points of armor as Guard comes back towards this, this rail position to try and pressure that yellow area. As his opponent, Marble jumps across, he's gonna take a slug right to the face, and Marble now with the LG, uh, uh, God with the LG out is trying to chase him down, trying to get him. But the pillars are proving very annoying indeed. But finally, he will get it. But God does actually take a full rocket in the meantime. So that's very, uh, very good for for Madball to actually be able to do that just in time before he dies. But God has some good timing. He knows that. Man, that was a great little rail there. As the opponent jumps across to the yellow position, God has plenty of time after picking this yellow up to get back to the red for some good position. But he's got to be careful of the traps. Here come the spam rockets around this corner. As he does find Mabor, indeed, Mabor's trapped there, not going to work. But God does actually take a lot of damage. Can he hit the long range rail? It's not going to happen now. As God has no health, but he does have a decent position to try and defend this mega health at least. There, he does drop down onto it, gets the pick up as he goes up the jump pad there. Makes his way onto that yellow. And again, these little flick rails from God. So nifty he is. So, so sweet as he picks up even another one. That's two rails onto Mabel. Mabel only with 61 points of health now as God pushes his way onto this red. Mabel is looking in a very horrible spot again. These precarious situations coming in time and time again where he just cannot escape. There's no escape options left for him if God hits that shot, which God, of course, does. 4 0 scoreline. Nice little inception rocket jump up there to catch Mabel off guard again. Mabel going for that railgun. Of course, you know, on the inserts and campgrounds. The railgun is always a very good option to get yourself back into control. Guard had the read. And even the follow up frag afterwards, or rather, Mabel doing a self kill there to put him down, himself down to minus one. And it's only three and a half minutes into this, and I, I can't help but feel like the game is almost already over. God is playing such a dominant presence here on this map, but as I say that, it does whiff a lot of rails as he tries desperately to catch Mabel with them at that long distance there and that yellow the guard. Continuing the spam. Continuing to try to do his best to maintain control. Mabel right now actually has managed to steal a red and uh, that's not good maintenance of control from God for, for that to happen. So now Mabel's in with a chance. He doesn't have a huge stack. He's only got 100, 100. But he does at least have all the major weapons. And here God's going to catch him in an open area. He fancies himself as the winner of this fight. Committing for it. And indeed he is. And there's another chance that ha uh, Mabel had. That just is going to sail away in the breeze. And God now spams rockets. Got the timing on that uh, red armor. And also the mega. So God's still just 
unhindered in this control, more or less. Just that one little mistake. He allowed that red to go for free to Mabel. But there's Mabel with some pressure from long range. That long distance railing from both players. Guard is not afraid. He's just going for it. I mean, he shouldn't be afraid. He's got the stack advantage. It's far superior to the stack of Mabel. It's Mabel connects one as Guard just flinches away there. And Guard going to try and intercept up the jump pad. Trying to catch Mabel, but not just yet. Mabel again going a bit aggressive. They're onto that red, and here comes Guard with the LG. Going to pick up another one. Seven to minus one as we hit the halfway point. Mabel has yet to show us that he has the ability to take back control. And Campgrounds is really a map about control. It's about how well you do when you're in control. And so far, Guard is doing a fantastic job here. There's a rocket jump up, and here comes the pressure. Two seconds until this red spawns. Can God defend it in time? He cannot. And this could be pretty bad. Mabel landing a lot of sharp damage, but that helped just there to keep God out of harm's way. As God now drops down. Whoa, he's, he's looking to throw the rockets down, but Mabel's got some great splash. He might be able to win this mega health. God does have good timing on it, though, so he's going to be able to peek and throw. Oh, yeah, indeed, he was able to peek and throw the, the rocket in time, but Mabel was there to punish him. So it does go to Mabel and hit. Shortly after the halfway point hits, Mabel's got a chance to get in control, but as I say that, he's not able to really capitalize as he was left too low after that mega pickup, and Guard's just going to continue now on this streak of dominance. Perhaps if he can pick up all of the items he needs, he needs the rail next as he's going for it here, and then he'll have all the weapons he needs, but Mabel got it got there first, and Mabel actually picking it up, and he might even drop the rail to Guard, but he does so after hitting two onto Guard, so Guard pretty weak. Does pick up the mega, just saves him there as the machine gun boat's compiling onto him into his back. Oh, picks up that red. Rail out, rail connected. Mabel up there, trapped. He's got to show himself somehow. And Guard's gonna hit the rail as well, and that's gonna be a crater, even minus one again for Mabel. Mabel not having a good time of it right now here on the ramp And uh, really what God has been doing is just been a quick, you know, ABC, 1, 2, 3, DM6. And it's been working out. He's been hitting some fantastic shots, some great wondrous rails. As he now picks up a mega again to reassert himself on the map, he will cycle his way back to this yellow. And it all looks pretty nice for him right now. Mabel does have 100 armor. He does hit a direct rocket, so this could be a way to turn the to turn the, the map around somewhat. But there's still uh, time until the, the red is going to actually have time to get over there. But he's not been too aggressive onto it. And I mean, why, why does he have to be? He's got a, a 11 frag lead. On Mabel, there's only uh, 2 minutes and 30 seconds left in this one, so more or less, oh god, he even gets it anyway, and here, oh, but the drop rail from Mabel is going to intercept guard and take him down finally, so at least Mabel gets the drop it again, it's, it's not really clean, and there's not that much health left, and the plasma bullets coming flying in from above there are going to be problematic for him, so Mabel trying to get this rail from below, as his opponent drops for that red position, and again, just whiffing those, and that's not really going to help him out very much, as the red spawns and all he's doing is throwing in rockets. Oh, can he connect anything? Not quite. Guard is looking good once again now as uh, he has a hundred armor. He doesn't have the rail or the weapons really. That's his weakest point at the moment. And the Mega is spawning, so this is, should be Mabel's if Mabel chooses to go for it. But Guard actually backing away there. Mabel should see this opportunity here. The Mega's up, he drops it, he gets it. Red's up should, very soon, he should get that as well. And he does indeed get it. Rocket jump up. The very standard play. Get that position. Buy that position with that stack. Mabel though. I need to connect with these rails. It's very unfortunate stuff from any 30% uh, uh, accuracy with the railgun there. As he does challenge even more for that, uh, that kill. But he's not going to find himself a kill very easily because Ma uh, God is very elusive right now. Just running away. Just Mabel. Uh, just seeing a slither of him each time. As Mabel comes around the corner and there is no guard to be seen. Drops for the Mega, but again, time is running out. One minute and 15 seconds left. It's looking like it's guard's victory here, quite convincingly, in fact. And uh, there's not much more to say about that one. It seemed like Mabel, every time he tried to make the challenges long range, tried to get the rail, tried to get that ambush damage, every single opportunity he went for, Every single play, God actually read it pretty well. There was a few traps to be set up, but God read it. He's managing to force the pressure back now, but there's only 45 seconds left in this one, so of course it's going to be God. But Mabel had a good effort. He's been showing some good form, and God, of course, is a really, really good player. He's one of the players 
who actually is in our top eight of the points of the ranking points for the face of winter season. In fact, he has, let's see, he's got 36 points for this tournament. He's on sixth place above Matrox and behind uh, Pavel and Phrase there. So God, of course, he is always a contender for those finals. He's made two or three finals, if I'm not mistaken. And as we hit the closing moments of this game, Mabel still tries to run around to try and deal damage to try and see if he can get the stat. One more frag. Well, he's dropping down onto the LG. Not going to happen. And there we go. It's going to be a good game between these two. And there we go. God, 11 to 1 scoreline. Again, very convincing performance from God. As to be expected, he's a very old school player. Campground's a very old school map. He knows his thing, he knows his rhythm on that map. So I'm not too surprised. It's good to see him go through. And just checking out what the next map's going to be. And actually, a uh, match will be. And it's going to be very interesting. In